In this problem, we have to integrate uh, e to the 2x minus 1 over uh, e to the 2x plus 1. So we're going to do this by manipulating this and trying to write it in terms of hyperbolic trig functions. Uh, I, I think it'll work. Let's try it. So let's write it like this. This is e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. And the 2 is really what's throwing things off. So I'm going to try to multiply by 1 in a clever way. Let's multiply by e to the negative x over e to the negative x. And something should occur here. So what happens now is, remember, this is in parentheses, and so is this. We end up taking this and distributing it. So this times this, well, we add the exponents. So we do 2x plus negative x. It's going to give us e to the x and then minus e to the negative x. In the denominator, same thing happens. We get e to the x plus e to the negative x, and here we have the dx. And this is actually equal to the integral of sinh x over cosinh x dx. Let's say, what? How do you know that? Because remember, sinh x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Cosinch of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. So when you divide these, what's going to happen is you're going to get this. So e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 divided by this. But when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. And look how amazing that is. You get this, right? You get this here. You just get e to the x minus e to the negative x over e to the x plus e to the negative x. So when you divide sinh and cosinh, you get this. So why is this better? Because now we can easily make a u substitution and not have to worry about the exponentials. We can use some hyperbolic knowledge. Um, we can let u be equal to the hyperbolic cosine of u of x and then du is the derivative of that, so that will be sinh of x dx. And that's precisely what we have in our integrand. So this is du over u. And that's a very popular formula. This is the natural log of the absolute value of u plus a constant. And so this is equal to the natural log of, well, what, what was u? u was cosinh. But cosinh is always positive, so we don't even need the absolute value. So cosinh of x plus capital C. So just one way to, to do the problem uh, a little bit, bit different. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who's trying to learn some math. Good luck.